I'm not side affiliated, run bird veteran, put the demonstration down. Now these niggas hating. Man from the come up, this a goddamn shame. The master plan. Wheatville. Black Austin. Wheatville was founded in 1867 by James Wheat, who was formerly enslaved, born in Arkansas. Mr. Wheat packed his family, two girls, four boys, and his wife, and moved to Texas, where they would settle in Central Austin. Mr. Wheat would go purchase two lots for $15 and $25 and begin growing corn. He would later be joined by families, which eventually became home to another formerly enslaved minister, Jacob Fonte. Wheatville residents would farm. They had a few blacksmiths, raised livestock. They also had family homes, stores, churches. They also had the first black school, which unfortunately the school was closed down in 1932, which also led to the end of the community. About 300 people were in the community of Wheatville who lived on the west side of Interstate 35, which is now the west side of the University of Texas campus. The community center is no longer the center of the African American community. Damn, my question is, why did Charlie erase the first black community? Y'all took what was legendary and precious history, destroyed it, erased it, gone, replaced with complex buildings, etc. The only remaining building of Wheatville is the first black-led newspaper in the South. Did you know that? I didn't know that. See, at first, Wheatville community remained relatively isolated but did have whites who came and brought from them. Until Austin white population began expanding towards the landscape around 1928, Austin City plan, I mean, the master plan was put in motion and it worked. The master plan was embraced by no other than Jim Crow. That's crazy. The city adapted to that plan to locate our public facilities, help clinics, schools, recreation facilities for blacks, move to the East Austin. Now ain't that something? We all know what that means. Gentrification took place on Wheatville because their plan was to push them out of Central Austin to East Austin, location on the other side of 35. See, this is where it get tricky for the residents of Wheatville. The city understood and they knew they couldn't force them out. So what they did was run a play on them by relocating all central resources. That alone left the community with no other choice but to move. Not to mention, the more Caucasian citizens moved into the neighborhood increased the cost of living, which blacks couldn't afford. Operation Push Out, Austin, Texas, the master plan, to be continued. Drop a comment, like, subscribe, share, I'm gone. I'm an outside affiliated, running bird veteran, put the demonstration down, now these niggas hatin', man from the come up, this a goddamn shame.